All right, ask someone if they have a pet, and the answer will likely be a dog or a cat sure. or maybe a pet turkey, <laughs> uh, if you hang around with Boaz at least. <laughs> but about an hour from here, that answer would be cows, sheep, donkeys, and pigs. It is the Kindred Spirits Rescue Ranch. That's where Daisy Jade is this morning because they're getting ready for a big event, Goat Toberfest. We're intrigued. Well, Daisy, goat for it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Oh, I love it, Boaz. That was awesome. Well, as you guys can see, I am literally in animal heaven right now because I am surrounded by so many fun animals. Like you guys mentioned, we've got goats, we've got pigs, we had yaks and all sorts of fun things. But um, we are here because there is definitely a very special message that we'd like to share with you guys. And I'm here with Lisa Marie, who is the founder of this organization. And Lisa, this is such a cool concept. And Thank please you. explain to us what exactly you guys do here. So what we do is we work with law enforcement and emergency services anytime that they have an issue with um, farm animals, like a, a being neglect, abuse, abandonment, things like that. They're not equipped to um, transport or to house these animals in you know, cases of... Um, you know, when there's like humane cases and things like that. So that's what we, we step in. Yeah, so I know that you said you and your husband just decided to buy this farm at one point and then it just kind of turned into this place where you guys are essentially a sanctuary for these lost um, animals, really. Right. Yes, well, first and foremost, we're rescue. And then mm -hmm. second, secondly, we're sanctuary. So if the humane officers win, um, you know, the humane case, they will sign the animals over to us and we'll put them in permanent sanctuary here. But yeah, so um, this was not a plan. This was something that just evolved naturally. And, um, you know, we're just blessed to be able to do it. Yeah. And what's super cool about this is everywhere you look, you see these animals literally roaming free. I mean, they are living their best life. And what's super cool is we're here with Donna and Donna, this is volunteer run. I mean, you're one of the volunteers here. You know, you guys don't make money off of this place. You guys are really just helping to save these animals. Correct. That's right. 100% volunteer. This is a rescue ranch. So I've been here for about a year. This is also Marion and the two of us have volunteered for a long time. 100% um, volunteer, 100% donation. These events are extremely important to us uh, because every bit of the money goes towards the animals and it's all volunteer. And you were saying, you know, all of the things that are required to help keep these animals alive, whether it's the, the feed, the hay, you know, I mean, just keeping them um, warm, essentially, it's all, you know, needed by donations. And Lisa Marie, you guys have an incredible event coming up. It's We love this name, first of all, but it is a fundraising event because you guys really do run off of donations mm -hmm. and really need as much help as you can to, mm -hmm. to get these animals, you know, it just look at i mean look at the, the ducks are running around they're just living with the goats and the pigs are hanging out i mean this is just so much fun yeah so that's why it's called kindred spirits rescue ranch yeah. uh, because all of the animals seem to get along but yeah we have an event called goat toberfest and it's coming up on saturday it's from four until eight at the farm um rain or shine and we know it's gonna rain but we've got y'all all covered and we've got raincoats for everybody um it'll be indoors so it'll be wonderful well wow, that's so much fun i mean it's one of those things where, you know, it, it's nice to be able to go to like a petting zoo or, you know, see animals. But this is such a special place where they really take care of these animals. I mean, you can even just see how awesome, you know, how happy they are. We have Lars is one of the most friendliest ones back there. He was, you know, giving some hugs. And what are some of the other names of some of these fun goats, Lisa Marie? So this is Coco, and then um, the cow that's stepping up here, that's Kevin. Yeah. Um, we have Bluebell, we have Precious. Um, the one that's <laughs> looking over the fence is Flopsy. Oh, they, they totally want their camera moment. And uh, we're going to give them a moment where they can, you know, get their, their moment to shine on TV. But Boaz and David, we're going to send it back to you guys because I'm having way too much fun over here. I, I need to go, and there's a little baby tiny little pig named Emerson that I'm going to go oh. and hang out with too. I mean, this is just this is just so much fun for any animal lover to just see how happy these animals are. It's such a great thing. Thank you so much again, guys. Yeah. Oh, Daisy, we we love Daisy on the ranch. We're meeting all these animals. It was funny to watch the goats, like the one headbutt yeah. the other one. Like, I'm not sure I want you in here with all this hay. Yeah, they yeah. also want to get in on the action. Right. <laughs> Well, the third annual Goattoberfest Cash Bash and Fundraiser takes place this Saturday, October 14th. You can find more information on our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.